more than 50 people, many of them female students, killed in bomb attack near Kabul school. Here's a summary of the article. The death toll from an explosion outside a school in Afghanistan's capital Kabul has risen to 58, with doctors struggling to provide medical care to at least 150 injured. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani on Saturday blamed the attack on Taliban insurgents but a spokesman for the Taliban denied involvement, saying the group condemns any attacks on Afghan civilians. The United Nations Secretary General strongly condemned the horrific attack and expressed his sympathies to the families of the victims, along with the government and people of Afghanistan. The Secretary General underlines the urgency of ending the violence in Afghanistan and achieving a peaceful settlement of the conflict. The violence comes a week after remaining U.S. and NATO troops began exiting Afghanistan, with a mission to complete the drawdown by the 11th of September, which will mark the end of America's longest war. Washington's top diplomat in Afghanistan, Ross Wilson, condemned the attack in a post on Twitter. With scores murdered, this unforgivable attack on children is an assault on Afghanistan's future, which cannot stand. Neighboring Pakistan, which has considerable influence over the Taliban and is pushing them to restart peace talks and agree to a ceasefire, also condemned the attack. This post received a score of 7,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It was a triple strike. The victims were students, girls and Shia Muslims. Probably the worst category to be in over there. The terrorists that carried out these attacks? What are people's thoughts on ongoing war against them compared to putting them in re-education camps? Biggest threat to the Taliban now that NATO is leaving seems to be educated children. Big men. I mean, it makes sense. Educated children will be armed with the know-how and skills to resist them in the future. That is why the educated folks are the first ones to go in a regime change. Yup, during the takeover in the 70s thousands of university students were killed including some of my family members. Same thing happened when the communists took over in Cambodia. They knew any intelligent person would oppose the regime so they killed them all. Even people with glasses were murdered for being intellectuals. Also, having glasses proved that you weren't dirt poor. What happened in Cambodia, even by communist standards, was just absolutely brutal and unprecedented. What kind of a monster blows up a bunch of women and kids in the name of religion? Same people that shot up an entire hotel filled with people. This group is anti-education and believes women should not go to school. Things like this happen on an almost yearly basis in Afghanistan. Kabul is one of the better places in the nation. There's a lot worse shit that goes completely unreported in the more rural areas. Edit also wanted to add, getting potable water is still a difficult issue in the region. The water problem was never fixed. People basically just said, oh well it's Afghanistan, and moved on. The Taliban are monsters that need to be destroyed by the Afghan people. Outsiders will always be outsiders who are not staying. Those who are staying have to deal with them. I'm not sure how this will happen while the Taliban are themselves supported by outsiders, ISI. Stop buying heroin Asia, Africa and United States and a whole load of people around the world. This kind of stuff has been going on for years but is only now getting attention because of the US leaving. Glad people are being made aware but disappointing it's being used for propaganda. It's always been reported on. But yeah you're going to see more coverage when it's an attack this bad. When I was deployed a suicide bomber walked into a mosque on Muhammad's birthday and killed over 100 people. I was waiting for the international outrage but it barely made the news. I would tell my family about the things I've seen and they would say, that stuff is still happening over there. I find it hard to imagine that the media suddenly cares about people dying in Afghanistan, and this is not being used to drive an agenda. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.